The moon has an undoubted advantage, at least it currently does. The far side of the moon is shielded from terrestrial radiation. And one of the things that you might want to look for are alien signals. Four or five years ago, we thought we had our first alien signal with Breakthrough Listen. And it was fascinating because it, it was from the very nearest star, Proxima Centauri. We now know it has a couple planets in the habitable zone that are Earth-sized. So I remember I got a call. It was actually on Halloween about five years ago from the principal investigator. And he said, he said, well, sit down. He said, I think we have a signal. Uh, I opened a bottle of champagne. He said, now I need to caution you before you get too excited that, that most of us think this is probably interference. So he says, don't, don't open the second bottle of champagne yet. Although I, I told him, I said, now, how many people know about this other than me? And he said, about nine, they're the co-I team. And uh, I said, well, tell everybody just, you know, until we can confirm what we think it is, let's not say anything. Well, two days later, there's a front page thing and a lot of these various newspapers. And so uh, I said, OK, you know, I can't believe for a moment if there was real evidence that it wouldn't have leaked and gotten everywhere. But at any rate, that told us that it, it, we concluded it was interference almost assuredly. So that started to get us thinking, we're, let's put something on the far side of the moon as a radio telescope.